Hi there, I'm Ross Watson, one of the designers on Torg Eternity, which is coming up really soon. Really excited for this. I was a big fan of Torg back in the day, and one of the things I thought was coolest was this uh, cosm called the Living Land. It was this place where dinosaurs had invaded America, and you could find them strolling the streets of New York, and you could deal with their uh, Edinos masters, who are these lizard men who worship a goddess of life. And the, the Living Land was all about this, this triumph of spirituality over technology, over society, uh, where you had these, uh, these, basically, in my mind, it really kind of unfolded into this big Land of the Lost type adventure. So when uh, Ulysses called me in to kind of help work on the new Torg, one of the things I jumped on was the chance to work on the Living Land. And so the new Living Land for Torg Eternity takes a lot of the concepts that I really liked from the old Living Land and just kind of dials them up a notch with adding, I think, a pretty hefty dollop of what I like to call a Land of the Lost lens. Because in the, the Living Land in New Torg, there is little pieces of other worlds that have been preserved by Lanala as sort of a, uh, a trophy, if you will, a, a remembrance of civilizations that have died. And because she's a goddess of life, she wants to remind her people exactly what they are risking out there in their, their constant struggle for survival. So in the New Living Land, it's just, it's really cool. There's all kinds of uh, fun dinosaurs and fun uh, relics of, of ancient civilizations or alternate worlds. There's the, uh, the, the, the jungles full of the, uh, the, the dinos that are you know, struggling to sort of conquer America. It's really, really cool. And I, I can't wait to show you guys all of the great stuff that's happening in the Living Land for Torg Eternity.